Hey, it's Sarah Albert here from the Dwelling Place Art Studio. I'm back for our next Art Tip Tuesday. Today, we're gonna be exploring a really fun, quick and easy project that you can do that is creating optical illusions, or op art as we call it. You can see some examples behind me here. We like to call these Dr. Seuss Mountains, and we're gonna do this project just in time to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday next week. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, it's time to get started working on our op art project, Dr. Seuss Mountains. All you're gonna need for this project is a white piece of paper and a Sharpie marker. The extra fine point Sharpies work the best. Um, that's what I have my students use, but you could use any kind of Sharpie, ballpoint pen, or any kind of fine tip marker. We're gonna start first by putting eight to 12 dots anywhere on your paper. Each dot is going to represent a different mountain. Then we're gonna start by freehand drawing horizontal straight lines all the way across your paper. Now it's fine if your hand makes a few waves or gets a little wobbly, it actually will add to the effect if you allow those little waves within your project. Now, the next rule is when you make your next line, you wanna make it as close to the line on top of it as possible. And it's actually better if you accidentally bump some of those lines as you go. It's better to have those lines closer together than to have those lines too far apart. When you get to a dot, the rule is you can't go through the dot, you have to go under it. That's how the mountains are gonna to start to form. So here I come to my first dot, I have to stop, go under it, and then I can continue my line. So that's where my first mountain is gonna start growing. You wanna make sure that you make these start and stops very, very abrupt, because that's what's gonna help to make your drawing look more like an optical illusion. So you really wanna be very precise as you start and stop each of those points around your mountain. Now, let's say we have another mountain that enters into the mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another mountain right here. Continue your horizontal lines, stop, go around the first mountain, then go around the second mountain, and just continue those lines all the way across. As your drawing continues, those mountains are gonna grow, they're gonna bump into one another, and even they're gonna sometimes battle and one mountain is gonna overtake the other. But don't get overwhelmed, don't get ahead of yourself. Just follow one little line at a time and all will be revealed as you continue your lines through. So you can see those mountains are almost ready to start to have a little battle. So now you can see I have three mountains going. And we're just gonna continue on all the way until we get to the very bottom of the paper. And we're gonna make these really cool Dr. Seuss mountains all the way down. That's all there is to it. It's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. Children and adults love this project alike. Check out some of these examples. I'd love to see your example as well. After you get done making one, take a picture, add it to the comments below. I'd love to see what you come up with. So grab a paper, grab a Sharpie marker, and have some fun creating op art Dr. Seuss Mountains. See you back next week for our next Art Tip Tuesday.